Now the next function we are going to define that is called as signum function because we have understood what is the modulus function so we will use the definition of the modulus function to define the signum function. So signum function is defined as signum function is defined as that's signum s g n i will write signum of x it is defined as mod x by x when x is not equal to 0 and 0 when x is 0 is it okay in this way we have defined so now what do we have mod x ki definition to we know that mod x kya hota hai? x when x is positive and minus x when x is negative alright this is the definition so हम मॉडलस की डेफिनेशन इसे यहां ओपन कर देंगे तो देखिए क्या होगा तो हमारे पास मॉड एक्स वाई एक्स क्या हो जाएगा एक्स ओवर एक्स व्हेन एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू 0 माइनस एक्स ओवर एक्स व्हेन एक्स इज लेस देन 0 दैट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ बस मॉडलस की डेफिनेशन को यहां यूज कर लेना है तो दिस विल गिव यू 1 व्हेन एक्स इज पॉजिटिव बट हियर बिकॉज़ एट 0 इट इज डिफाइंड रिमेंबर दैट एट 0 इट इज डिफाइंड टू बी 0 सो हियर ओनली this inequality will come. Is it okay? So this is greater than 0 only. So minus 1 when x is less than 0. So what we have obtained that x, eh, sorry, 1 when x is positive, when x is bigger than 0, 0 when x is 0, ye to define hai mara, or minus 1 when x is negative. Now, ab hum kya karenge? Ab hume, humare paas ye dekhe kya hai? 1 fx is equal to 1, fx is equal to 0, fx is equal to minus 1. So, all are the constant function. We have discussed the first standard function, so we will plot it in this graph. So, when, so what is the, so this is x and this is y. Now, look at the constant function 1. 1 means y is equal to 1. So, y is equal to 1 is a line. This is so 1 unit from the origin. So this will give you this line. Is it okay? Y is equal to 1. And y is equal to 0 is what? It is an x axis. It is what? It is an x axis. And y equal to minus 1. That is 1 unit downward from the origin. So 1 unit downward from the origin. So this is the line of y equal to minus 1. This is y equal to 1. And certainly x axis is what? Y equal to 0. Now we will look at in what region we need these lines. In what region? So y equal to 1 when x is positive that is on the right hand side. So only this graph will be taken. So this will be eliminated. Is it okay? And in the similar way y equal to minus 1 when x is less than 0. So this will be taken. This will be eliminated. Alright? And this will be taken. And at x equal to 0 the point is 0. It means that on this what this will give you? 0 0 point so only this point will be taken remember this point will be taken so what should be the graph of this function how it will look like it will look like y equal to 1 y equal to 1 and a point 0 and y equal to minus 1 so ye hamara kis region mein less than 0 mein ye hamara kis region mein greater than 0 mein to ye hamara graph ho gaya dekhiye अब देखिए x हमारा डोमेन y में हम रेंज ढूंढेंगे को डोमेन में तो तो डोमेन क्या हुआ हमारा डोमेन देखिए हर x के लिए फंक्शन की कोई ना कोई वैल्यू है जो कि रियल नंबर है देयरफॉर डोमेन ऑफ द फंक्शन इज व्हाट इट इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ रियल नंबर्स ऑल रियल नंबर्स ओके बट लुक एट द रेंज ऑफ द फंक्शन रेंज में हमने क्या बताया था रेंज में जैसे कांस्टेंट फंक्शन की रेंज क्या थी केवल ये वही कांस्टेंट था because all the numbers of the domain will map to the same constant. So, जब भी हमारा x positive होगा, तो it will map to one only. And जब भी हमारा negative होगा, तो it will map to minus one. And जब भी हमारा x zero होगा, it will map to zero. So, all are mapping to a constant function, constant value. Therefore, the range of the function will contain only three numbers. That is minus one, zero, and one. Now look at what how this example becomes a very important why look at the domain of the function is an infinite set the domain of the function is an infinite set here but the range of the function is what it is a finite set 
so in the so likewise constant function this function also has the range a finite set okay so this is very important example this is an example in which the domain is an infinite set and range is a finite set is it okay okay so this is the this is the uh, this is the information regarding the graph of the function sigma and like humne jo jis tarah se humne calculate kiya tha sigma of uh, mod, modulus of some value in the similar way you can also calculate the sigma of some value for example if you want to calculate sigma of 1 then 1 sigma of 1 will give you what it will give you 1 because x is positive x is positive therefore it will give you 1 अब अब इससे भी देख सकते हैं ग्राफ से ये वाले ग्राफ से कि एट वन एट एक्स इक्वल टू वन वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द फंक्शन वन एट एक्स इक्वल टू टू द वैल्यू ऑफ द फंक्शन इज टू इन द सिमिलर वे एट एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस वन द वैल्यू ऑफ द फंक्शन इज वॉट माइनस वन सो बाई यूजिंग दिस और दिस यू कैन ऑल्सो प्रोटेक्ट यू कैन ऑल्सो गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ द फंक्शन एट पॉइंट इज इट ओके